boy. All in a day's work. Okay, RJ, I know, bud. The only problem is now I can't find the shop cat. Doggy, look at this guy here. This is actually a hypo Brooks King, or what they would call a South Florida King Snake. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. And of course, colubrids are up, and I'm gonna show you guys some colubrids that you may remember from before they went to sleep, or maybe if you're a new viewer, you will just be introduced to these guys for the first time. The South Florida Kings or Brooks Kings are actually a big king snake, again from South Florida, and they get literally up to seven foot long. Pretty girthy animals and they are absolutely incredibly tame and beautiful. So this one, of course, is a hypomelanistic, which is a recessive mutation. Just take a look at that beauty right there. And this is another South Florida king snake, but this is what they would call a ghost, which is actually a hypo, just like I just showed you, and it's also an aneurythristic. So it's lacking both the red pigment and it's also lacking some of the melanin. Regardless, let me know how your day is going down in the comments and what snakes you are excited to see. Are you guys excited about this breeding season? Because I certainly am. Can't wait to take you guys on the entire journey from breeding to egg laying to hatching a bunch of beautiful snakes It's gonna be absolutely incredible So you guys know that we let RJ out just kind of run around quite a bit Well, uh, Kelsey came up and said that she can't find him. We're going on a little bit of a RJ hunt uh, He's down here somewhere his normal hiding spots is over by the fridge Sometimes he's under a certain rack uh, Kelsey said he's not in his normal spot. So let's go try to see if we can find him Oh, no. oh, no, they're at the end one. <laughs> Over here? He's in the end one, yeah. Ah, RJ has squeezed himself under a rack. Yeah, he's squeezed in there. Let's see, there he is. Here's my RJ. <laughs> Here's my RJ. Oh my gosh, he's Hi, really sweetie. in there. Hi, sweetie. There's my boy. All in a day's work. Okay, RJ, I know, bud. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna put you down here. Ah, there you go. Stay right there, okay, bud? And RJ is back. Again, a lot of times we want him just to be able to run around. He loves hanging out like right here or up on the ledge here. Today we let him run around and he disappeared on us. But hey, listen, an alligator ain't getting out of our basement. So all's well that ends well. Good job, guys, for finding RJ. The only problem is now I can't find the shop cat. That's terrible, Eric. That's terrible, terrible. I tell you what, I have been in love with these snakes here for probably the last 20 years or so. This is actually an albino Kunisur Island rat snake, which is kind of like a jack. Japanese rat snake and these guys are of course the albino version and legend has it that there's actually an area where there's a little pocket of albinos that are found and they actually kind of worship them I think there's even a temple there that actually worships these guys which is absolutely amazing and what's cool is the nine albinos are just as cool as the albinos and the fact that they're kind of a greenish color but sometimes can have a turquoise blue to them so they are definitely a really awesome rat snake Super exciting guys, we have some eggs. Jessica came to give me, tell me what's going on. We got some eggs from Wednesday. Oh, this is Wednesday? Yeah, oh my she's gosh, a she's reticulated so... red blotch. A reticulated red blotch, look yeah. at how gorgeous Wednesday is. And we've got <laughs> eggs, that is so exciting. Remember we got some eggs a couple weeks ago, but I don't think that those guys are gonna make it, so hopefully these ones will be better. Sometimes that first clutch can be a little bit of fertility issues, but let's see. She's got all the dirt kind of moved to one side here. Exactly, so she's so. been excavating to to get eggs. Where are you at? Where are you? Oh, there, there they are. are. Oh, those look pretty good. Yeah. So there's one. Uh, the oh, the they two. look they look better than the other ones. Did, yeah, yeah, sure. definitely. Yeah, the other ones you could tell, even though they were white, they didn't quite look the right shape, whereas these guys look pretty good. So let's hope with any luck these will be fertile and we'll have some baby gargoyle geckos. That'd be good. And Wednesday, you did such a good job, Mama. She's Way still looking nice and fat, too, so I she's know. holding she's, on to her weight. That's, that's good. awesome. That is fantastic. How exciting is that? You know, I understand that it seems like every time I start showing off adult colubrids when they're out of hibernation, I pull out a scaleless Texas rat 
that snake. But how can I not? I mean, take a look at this animal. Look at how incredible they are. I mean, that is one absolutely gorgeous snake here. And again, they are so polygenic in the sense that you can have all kinds of colors and patterns and phases. I mean, they are incredible. And no matter how many I hatch and how many we keep, I always want to keep more because they're always incredible. And when we hatch them, I'm always like, oh my God, I don't want to sell this one. Every year, it seems like I raise up another eight or 10 scaleless Texas rats. I just think they're one of the most unique animals that I work with. As you guys may have noticed for a while, I really haven't been doing any drone shots. It's for two reasons. Number one, I just really haven't felt that there was any need for drone shots. But number two, uh, my drone broke. And I actually have two drones. I have a big drone that's just a pain to fly, but it's really beautiful. And then of course I have a little Mavic Pro and that's the one that broke. So I just haven't really wanted to take the big one. I don't feel like there was a need for it per se, but a bunch of people have asked. So guess what? We're going to go to Sam's Club because believe it or not, they have Mavic Pros, which is awesome. And I'm going to buy a drone because it will be really handy for this trip that I'm going to be making to Chicago and then all the way down to Texas. If you guys are interested in drones, you're going to start to see some drone shots back in the vlog. Let me know in the comments if you like that or not, or you really don't care. Bam, my baby. <laughs> I have missed flying it. It's going to be pretty cool to get it back. So uh, I was really trying to decide between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air, um, but I think I'm just going to do the Mavic Pro. This one comes with a carrying bag. Your other one didn't, did it? Yeah, they're garbage. So basically what it is is that this little gimbal here on my other one doesn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and get this fixed and then I'll sell it or do something. Maybe I'll even give it away. I have no idea, but I am excited to finally get a new one and get the drone back up flying. You know, again, it was always fun to have those kind of shots, but I also think that having kind of drone shots just for the sake of having drone shots isn't necessarily the best thing to do. But uh, regardless, here is my new Mavic Pro. I'm not gonna fly it today. I've got a bunch of busy work to do, but. Uh, with this trip that is coming up, I will absolutely have this out, get a bunch of really cool aerials along the way. Maybe if I'm visiting some cool outdoor stuff, I have no idea, we'll get it. Regardless, it's gonna be a great time and uh, expect to see some more drone shots in the near future. These are some great snakes here. These are, of course, a Noblockeye or a Terra Humera Mountain King Snake. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not sure who the first person that brought this into the country or bred them, but I remember there was a guy named Steve Osborne that actually was the one that made him kind of popular. He was the first one that actually produced more than just a clutch or two. And these guys will typically only have anywhere from three to six eggs and normally don't double clutch. Although we have a female that's been double clutching for the last couple years, which is unusual for any of the pyros or mountain king snakes, to be honest with you. So typically they're a little bit of a low production animal. So you don't see a ton of them out there. But again, Steve way back in the early 90s started to kind of produce a bunch of them, maybe 40 or 50 a year. And that's really where the majority of the founder stock of animals, including mine, came from really amazingly beautiful snakes. Hey, can we take a minute for a little real-time talk? You guys know that I always try to bring you along on my thought process, what I'm doing, and so on like that. And it's interesting because, you know, I know the last six weeks in particular, I've kind of been here at BHB. There hasn't been as much exciting stuff going on, but I'm always trying to kind of tell the story of my life. In a way, that's what this vlog is, right? A story of my life. And I do my best not to kind of script things to the point where it doesn't feel real. I mean, what's happening is kind of happening. With that said, a bunch of people have said lately, like, oh, it's starting to get a little bit boring, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe you need to switch things up. You know, one thing is I'm going to be traveling here in the next few days and going to be doing a lot of cool stuff, so that'll be really good. Definitely have some travel coming this summer, as a matter of fact, quite a bit of travel, but I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments because it's important for you guys to stay engaged with me. I don't want to lose you guys. And the truth is, is that, you know, it's an up and down battle when it comes to YouTube. There's no doubt that our views are softer now than they were a month or two ago. And maybe that's the reason. Maybe you guys are just getting bored with me and that's okay. I'll try to make things more exciting. But the fact is, is I need to know what you guys are thinking so I can understand what direction this vlog needs to go in. Again, we'll definitely do our best to kind of get out of the shop a little bit more here over the next several months. Definitely have some big trips planned. It's going to be really exciting. But with that said, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about it. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, 
Are you guys starting to get bored? Is there something that I could do that can keep you guys engaged more? I tell you what, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I love vlogging. I love daily vlogging. I love telling the story every single day. But there is no doubt it is a grind. I mean, seven days a week I have to do all of this work. And you guys know I'm a one-man team. I film, I edit, I upload, I do everything. So the fact is, is that it is an unbelievable grind. And I want to make sure that it's successful. And I need you guys in order to make it successful. You guys support me so much and I appreciate you. But I also wanted to kind of have a little bit of conversation with you guys to see which direction we should go with this vlog to not only continue to keep you guys excited, but also to get the people that we're watching to come back and watch again. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And finally, a corn snake mutation that I've told you guys for a long time is one of my favorites, which is actually a hypo lavender. And then this happens to be a crimson too, which is just a locality, which is basically the Miami. So the crimsons are really hypo Miamis. And of course, this is a hypo Miami lavender lavender corn snake and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous so I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some of the clubbers that are up I hope that you're excited about the breeding season that we've got going on and I hope that you enjoyed the rest of the day that I was able to bring you guys along on all your guys support means the world to me and I truly do love you guys again we're gonna be traveling here in a couple days so some exciting things are gonna come in but tomorrow I think I'm gonna make the vlog as simple as possible because I'm gonna be getting ready for this road trip that's gonna be absolutely crazy and I'm gonna show some baby ball pythons and baby leopard geckos if you guys don't mind that way I can film it kind of quick and get on the road tomorrow because I'm heading out to Chicago to go meet some grizzly bears. Should be pretty interesting. And then after that, things get kind of crazy. Regardless, we have some adventure ahead and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy it. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Again, thank you for tuning in. You guys are absolutely wonderful. Can you do me a couple favors? If you like this vid, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you turn those post notifications on. And if you don't mind, hit that like button. And for the record, I upload every single day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard time. Remember to be kind to someone today and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.